We have already discussed problems involving sequence, but in today's class, we're going to talk about the problems involving series. And like I pointed out earlier, we can solve them using similar methods, but the only difference is the way we represent the final answer in sequence is different from the way we represent it in series. So let us consider the problem we have here. The problem is the nth term of a series is given by tn is equal to 2 raised to the power of n plus 4n squared. Find or write down the first three terms of the series. So here, we're told that n is equal to 1, 2, and 3. So for the first term, c1 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 1 plus 4, 1 raised to the power of 2. This gives us 2 plus 4, and 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So that is the first term. Let us consider when n, this is when n is equal to 1. When n is equal to 2, what then is our value? We have 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 4 into 2 squared. And this gives us 2 raised to the power of 2, which is 4, 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 4 into 4. So this is 4 plus 16, and this is 20. So what happens when n is equal to 3? When n is equal to 3, so t3 will be equal to 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 4 into 3 squared and this is 8 plus 4 into 9 so this gives us 8 plus 4 times 9 is 36 so 8 plus 36 is of course equal to 44 therefore from the question we said or we're asked to or required to find the to write down the first three terms of series which will give us 6 plus 20 plus 44 as the first three terms of the series. It is very, very simple. All right. So this is where we draw the cutting on this particular problem involving series. So in our next class, we're going to start with the arithmetic progression or some authors call it the linear sequence. So make sure you don't miss the next class. If you have questions or problems, you can drop them on the platform as prompt responses will be given to them.